So before this video properly begins, I just want to let you know that this was going to be uploaded several days ago, but after uploading it, it was flagged as inappropriate immediately. So I set about the task of censoring myself, censoring naughty words, re-recording different lines, alluding to certain things rather than outright saying them, cutting out parts entirely, changing what footage was used, and so on and so on and so on. And as it turns out, the actual content didn't matter in the slightest. I was uploading these different videos with no title and no tags, and while YouTube says it will pick up on inappropriate content usually in two hours of the video being uploaded, it picked up on mine within two minutes. Despite the final video being watered down to a point where there was nothing that could even be misconstrued as inappropriate. Following the new idiotic guidelines perfectly. There's real life videos of nudity, sexual acts, hate speech, abuse and calls for violence that have been up on YouTube for years, have been reported by thousands and are still up now. And yet, this program YouTube has implemented to supposedly find these sorts of videos instead is better suited at finding videos that criticise YouTube. That seems to be the biggest rule in making advertiser-friendly content. You are not allowed to criticise YouTube or their fucking moronic decisions at all. And so, with absolutely no way to make this video advertiser-friendly, because it truly doesn't matter what's actually in the video if you're complaining about YouTube, here's the video as it was first made. Okay, so this is Captain Sam G, and happy birthday to me. And what a delightful birthday present I have received. 59 of my videos suddenly flagged as inappropriate for advertisements, non-advertiser friendly. Oh no, it's 60 videos. Video I just uploaded is evil and unfit for this world as well. I don't know if this is something new, as huge YouTubers that I watch have complained about things like this months ago, or if, more likely, it is the same thing they've been dealing with and it's only just reached me. Guys with millions of subscribers targeted first, then working their way down the list and finally it's my turn to get punched in the face. This seems to me to be absolutely insane. Video games with fictional characters, a bunch of pixels fighting against another bunch of pixels being flagged as inappropriate, when the advertisements I usually see on YouTube, not anywhere else on the internet, are about video games with characters fighting and killing each other, or better yet, beds designed specifically with fucking in mind. These are the kinds of ads I need to be pure and holy for, are they? But it gets worse, because I believe that the video content actually barely matters at all. It's mostly just about the title and tags. Take a look at some of my videos that are apparently so horrific, advertisers wouldn't want to be associated with them, even though they're one or two parts of a 20-part playthrough where all the other videos are perfect for advertising needs. The rest of the Spider-Man Shattered Dimensions game I've played through, completely fine. But for this one, CARNAGE! Well, obviously, this video is showing people in real life being sliced apart. A fight? We can't show people bludgeoning each other to death on YouTube. Get that horror show out of here. A gang war! A video of people in real life shooting each other to death and, oh me, oh my, won't somebody please think of the children? A weapon? A weapon? You can't simply show a weapon on YouTube. All weapons are evil. Institutionalized. Crazy. You can't talk about mental health. That might trigger someone, no matter what the context. Punish these videos now. Massacre. Killing. Psychos. Oh my god, we can't have this! Videos of people being killed in real life, and once again it's making fun of mental health!
combat. Predator. Oh, well, these are worse than the fighting video. Now we have people bludgeoning others to death, but this time they're also sexual predators. Deadly. Deadly? Need I say more? We shouldn't even look at these videos. We should just put all videos through a program, and if certain mean, naughty words are discovered, obviously the video is not suitable for YouTube. Seriously, this is ridiculous. A few weeks ago, a video on my playthrough of DC Universe Online I put up was instantly flagged as inappropriate. I laughed it off because it was kind of funny. I fought against an Egyptian goddess whose name is Isis. So naturally, I put her name as the title and boom, obviously the video must be about terrorism. I had it reviewed and it was corrected and as a one-off thing, it was fairly funny. But 60 videos flagged, all at the same time, what the hell? And you may be thinking, well, why don't you just have those videos reviewed as well? Well, here's the kicker. If you want to start up a channel on YouTube talking about mental health, politics, anything deemed controversial, or even just playing video games that aren't for toddlers, whatever, all the luck in the world to you. Because if those videos are flagged and you can't make money off them, and you go to have them reviewed, you get this. We are only able to review videos with at least 1,000 views in the past seven days. God damn it, YouTube. Not even 1,000 views total, 1,000 in a week. If your channel is big enough, however, over 10,000 subscribers, you can bypass this. So, if you put out a video, you don't have 10,000 plus subscribers, and it gets flagged as inappropriate, you could be getting 999 views a week, almost 52,000 views a year, but we'll round it down to 50,000. You won't get anything from that? One video, 50,000 views a year, and YouTube will just punish that video and you for no reason. No matter how much effort you put into it, no matter what it's about, if you say the wrong thing, if you use the wrong word, if you use the wrong thumbnail, or however the hell this idiotic system works, you'll get nothing for your efforts. And remember, that's just one video. If you're a channel about politics or something else controversial because apparently YouTube is being transformed into one big safe space, and you're expecting to put out a new video on the same type of subject matter every day, how many views do you think you'll end up amassing in a year while not getting a cent for your efforts and never being able to have those videos reviewed until you get big? At which point, People won't be viewing those videos at the same rate like before, because they're old. And the best part is, there's currently no other solution. That's it. I just have to deal with 60 videos of mine just suddenly being non-advertiser friendly. So, brilliant. Well, at least I still have a ton of other videos for people to watch that generate me a few cents. If I was just starting out on YouTube and this was happening on the first few videos I posted, I would get so disheartened. I'd probably just give up before ever really beginning. It's such a shame that the platform that got big in the first place was due to people being able to post mostly whatever they wanted, things that wouldn't typically be put up on TV. And now said platform is trying to run itself like a TV station except even worse. I don't see advertisers pulling adverts from TV shows about politics that are clearly pushing their own political agenda and outright trying to cause mass hysteria, or shows glorifying casual sex and cheating, or whatever degeneracy is on TV lately. They don't pull the ads from those. Like I said, good luck to you if you're just starting out on YouTube. All the luck in the world. Anyway, just wanted to vent a little, hop on the YouTube is broken bandwagon. Like I said, there's no actual solution to this, at least for smaller channels. Everyone's just going to keep getting screwed over until YouTube changes things. Well, 
I was thinking of making a Patreon at some point. Now may be as good a time as any. Until next time. Bye for now.